bless these magic of sting cast. I'm gonna go ahead and induce the sting right here and see how painful that actually is. was located on that um, house? It's on the uh, roof eave, you know, just under where Safe would be, uh, on that porch, on the front porch, on the river. Okay, so when you walk up the stairs, go to the left. Go on to the like... balcony, and you can't miss it. Look okay. up towards the house. Pelestes metricus. This is a big wasp species. Here we are, right back in the family Pelestes. This wasp is the definition of intimidation. This wasp forms some of the largest paper wasp nests in the United States, usually around waterways. However, they will leave the safety of water if there is better territory, feeding on caterpillars and larvae from various other insect species, just as long as they're soft-bodied. Being a queen comes with a lot of responsibility. There are a lot of variables when you're building a nest to raise a colony. These wasps pre-plan two foraging destinations, trees or bushes literally. If they fly up while exiting the colony, they will likely be found in the tree canopy. If the workers leave the nest and fly horizontally, it's likely they'll be flying around on the ground. Crazy, this species exhibits premeditation, forethought. Even more interestingly, this species doesn't mind sharing their territory. They're often found in very close proximity to various other species as long as they're in the same family, Pelestes. This species will reuse the same hives year after year. That gives the queen a head start with many incubation chambers. Every single chamber will have an egg implanted inside. The queen can have hundreds of larvae brewing in several hives. Sometime before July, a new brood of workers emerges outside. That is when their colonies really thrive. This is the time the colonies multiply. Hundreds of workers on standby to protect the queen and their second brew of workers still vulnerable inside. Equipped with defense from a quarter inch long stinger that will make just about any predator remember. Let's not look for food so close to the water. Introducing Pelestes metricus. Another relative of Carolina and Exclamens. This one is distinguished by the dark abdomen as well as the red torso and the fire-like legs on it. Bright orange in coloration. This is a very large wasp specimen. This is Pelestes metricus, a very large paper wasp. This is Pelestes metricus sting test. I'm gonna go ahead and induce the sting right here and see how painful that actually is. We'll call this the metricus wasp sting test. Here we go. Oh yeah, see that? He's biting me, clawing me, and stinging me all at once. There he goes. See that stinger? There it is, come on. Give me what you got, buddy. There it is. Oh yeah. See his abdomen? Every time he does that, he's poking me with his stinger. Right there. See that stinger coming out right there? It looks like a leg. <laughs> All right. Are you getting a good visual on that, Ben? Mm hmm Okay. I'd like for everybody to be able to see his stinger so they can know how big it is. If he'll put it out for us. You'll see in the stinger there. All right, one more time. All right. I think it's safe to determine that yes, this wasp does sting. That uh, it's very comparable to Pelesti Carolina. 
Um, the immediate area right now, I went ahead and induced probably a dozen stings or more um, just to really see how bad the sting of this wasp was. So much like I did with Pocillopompilus algidus, I just let him sting me until he didn't feel like stinging me, or she didn't feel like stinging me anymore. And the result was just an overall area that feels like it got burned. Um, there's probably, gosh, honestly this whole area I've been stung in that whole area right there. So we'll give this five minutes and we'll see how bad that sting actually is. We'll call this, uh, once again, yes, the sting does hurt, but it's not one that's going to kill you unless you're allergic, which in that case, I recommend seeking medical treatment. So this is the Metricus Law Sting Test. And uh, thanks for watching this episode, y'all. I'm going to give y'all a five minute update on that. And would you please subscribe to this channel? Thanks again. All right, there you have it. As you can see, multiple stings all over my forearm. Now this is at five minutes, y'all. So I'll let you know if anything progressives get worse after the next five to 30 minutes and I'll keep you updated. All right, it's been an hour. As you can see, all the swelling is pretty much gone. So long-term effects for this sting are not too bad at all. I do want to say that the initial sting of Plessis metricus is very similar to Plessis carolina and the reaction is very similar. They are very closely related specimens. When I was a child I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.